Thanks for staying with us. It was a homecoming never to be forgotten. 53 more people hailing from Tamil Nadu who had been evacuated from trouble-torn Libya arrived today by an Air India flight. The state government officials were also present there to receive them and made arrangements to transport them to their destinations across the state. This group uh, had arrived from Delhi, in fact, on Sunday. 20 people hailing from the state who were part of a group of Indians airlifted from Libya to Delhi had also arrived. Now, the Tamil Nadu government has moved the Supreme Court to vacate the stay for uh, conducting polls for the Legislative Council. Recently, the Apex Court had directed the Election Commission not to conduct polls for the Upper House till they decide whether electoral rolls are prepared as per delimitation. The state government in its petition says that the electoral rolls are ready and that the polls uh, to the Legislative Council be allowed. It looks like uh, A. Raja has had enough of the lights, camera and action. A Delhi court today allowed former Telecom Minister A. Raja's plea to appear before it via video conferencing, which means it is going to be within the walls of the Harsh Jail, which may spell lesser embarrassment for his party back home. Worry of being transported with under trials in a crowded jail van, the former minister had moved a plea to conduct judicial proceedings through video conferencing in the 2G Spectrum case. The infamous uh, Spectrum King is lodged at the Tihar jail currently under the judicial custody till the 3rd of March. Along with sworn telecom promoter Shahid Balwa, former telecom secretary Siddharth Behura, as well as his personal secretary R.K. Chandolia. Moving on to some news from the main opposition's camp, the AIA-DMK General Secretary has said that her party would protest in Salem District tomorrow, demanding action against the family members of Karna Nidhi in the 2G scam issue. She said the investigating agencies should, know, should now uh, in fact go after them as there was enough evidence to point fingers at them. She also condemned the DMK regime's inaction on the environmental impact in Varapadi caused by a cement factory, alleging that 30 villages had already gone dry because of the factories functioning. The Chennai police today arrested the state secretary of the Tamil Nadu Boxing Association following a complaint of sexual harassment by a 24-year-old woman boxer. The secretary, Karanagaran, had allegedly molested her and harassed her over the last two years. According to the lady boxer, she was also denied the opportunity to participate in two national level events for not yielding to him. Later on, lawyers in a Chennai court took law into their hands and attacked the accused when police brought him to be remanded. The police, in fact, say that they have received several other complaints and have prima facie evidence against Karanakar. முடிய now, when the common man was just wondering what the union budget 2011 really had to offer him, there was some good news that the state government came out with today. The Tamil Nadu government announced a reduction in the sales tax on petrol by 3% today, which means the fuel will be cheaper by a rupee and 38 paise per litre. In fact, uh, the food prices have been a uh, continuous worry for the common man and with this reduction, petrol prices may be marginally better at a time when every rupee counts for the man on the street. Sir, you don't want to pay election, 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 you don't want to pay election
ஒன்றம்பது இறக்கிறாங்கன்னா எலெக்ஷன் மாதம் தான் அதுக்கப்புறம் மறுபடியும் ஏறும் எலெக்ஷன் முக்கியம் மறுபடியும் ஏறும் போன வருஷத்தில் அஞ்சு ட்ரிப் ஏறி ஏறி தான் இருக்காது இறக்கல ஒரு வாட்டி கூட இந்த ஒரு ட்ரிப் மட்டும் இறக்கிறாருனா அதான் விஷயம் வேறு என்ன Now, the Deputy Chief Minister turned a year older today. M.K. Stalin, the politician, considered the political heir to Chief Minister Father, uh, met uh, party workers today. But Stalin echoed Amma's birthday shout-out. He appealed to the party workers to celebrate his birthday in a constructive manner and desist from pomp and grandeur. Various uh, welfare measures like blood donation and mass food distribution were carried out by the DMK party men. One among the well-wishers of Stalin was also the VCK chief, who was part of the celebrations today. The name of the Lord, Luka Stalin, our Helen, Brandon Alil, Brother Richard, the Helen Sarvil, Ninjar, the Walter Kalai, the Kulgoro, Mudalwar, our Helen, the Utra Tonya, and the Tamil and Tanya, and the Vil Sutu Penakali Merkunde, Archie, the Rambad and other Kulapiri Alavile. பணியாற்றி வருகிறார் அவருடைய பணிகள் மேலும் சிறக்க விடுதலை சிறுத்தைகளின் சார்பில் வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் Still ahead on this bulletin, four men are out to hound down Vasco de Gama on the silver screen, but can they if they have such lovely ladies by their side? Find out in a moment.